Good morning, everybody. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Happy, happy, happy Mother's Day. Woo-wee. Um, so I had thought that I was going to, you know, get my hair blowed out and my curls and this and that. But you know what? I wanted to wear my natural curls. And I think she look good now. I think she do. I think she do. I think she looks good. I juiced her up real good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Diva looking straight, honey. So, we are on our way. I need a little Coke. My stomach is a little unsettled this morning. So, I need a little Coke. Um, I got my little pumps on. I think I'm cute. Only thing I don't have, and this is something that I won't buy from Timu. This is one of my Timu dresses. Yes, honey. Yes, honey. And you know, I got three black and white hounds two dresses. This one I have never worn. And I think I'm cute. And I got on my black and white house too. Shoes, girl, look. Okay? Anyway, the one thing I don't have, I don't have a house tooth purse. Mm-hmm. And I was going to carry my black and gray Michael Kors, but I flipped back to my Gucci. Um, Because I just said, you know, I just want to be a little, little extra. My, my boss says, you bougie. <laughs> she said, you bougie. I said, but on a budget, baby. Bougie on a budget for real, for real, for real. Because I'm be cute. But I'm be cute on a budget. Okay. Because y'all know how I like to do. They done redid some stuff over here. Okay. This is Sprinkle Park. If y'all been with the channel since Miss Pino was little bitty bitty, that's Sprinkle Park. Um, they redid a little bit over there. But anyway, so I'm going to get me a little Coke. Because I just need I just need a small Coke right now. I just feel unsettled. And, uh, yeah, I don't have any water. And I don't want any water right now. I need a Coke. And as you know, on the weekends, the weekends don't count for my water challenge. I still drink my water, but I don't count it. You know what I mean? Oh, but your girl was blessed beyond measure. Okay, so I can't remember if I showed you guys, but baby girl and little man bought me these clogs. They're by Adidas. Um, and they're, I kind now I kind of wish I got black, but then again, with it being nice out, it's kind of nice I have a lighter color. So I got them in the khaki color. But um, they're clogs that I can just wear, and I can wear them with socks or without. Uh, I think without, though, if my feet sweat, then it'd be kind of, mm. but anyway. So they got me these clog shoes. These shoes, now, they don't look like much to people. And actually, when I saw them, they look kind of like, mm, but they so ugly, they're cute. And that's why I like them. It kind of reminds me of Cabbage Patch Kids. Um, because back in the day, people was like, oh my God, them dolls are so ugly, but they're cute, right? So anyway, I got those from Baby Girl and Little Man. They sent them to me. Mm, it's been a few weeks I got those. Um, I don't think I ever showed them on the channel. I think I got a picture, though, so I'll put the picture in this video. Uh, boss man, he just lined my, my pockets. He just lined my pockets. I appreciate that, husband. Thank you, thank you. Miss Peanut, oh, my God. So she told her daddy what she wanted to get me. And I told him, don't let her spend too much money. Just have her give me a card, some candy. That's it, right? He was like, she just like you. So, whatever she want, that's what she gonna do. I was like, but dude, come on now. Save her some money. He was like, she has her mind made up of what she want to get you. I was like, okay. So, I actually found out what I got by mistake. So, um, you know, a couple years ago, when Miss Pina first started working. So, this was the summer of, the summer of ninth grade year. So, when she started working... I had opened her up a checking account. She got a checking account, savings account at the credit union with me. Well, because she's a minor, I have to be on the account. So as of right now, it's, what's it called? It's like a minor, oh my gosh, I can't remember the title. Anyway, so anyway, I have conservatorship or whatever of her account. So her account is linked under mine. So when I go in to look at my account, I can see her account as well. And it's set up that way to make sure that, you know, kids aren't doing X, Y, Z, whatever. So, she asked 
Miss me because Miss Peanut been shopping this weekend, y'all. I mean, Miss Peanut got paid on Friday, and I was like, girlfriend, but her store went out is going out of business. Uh, Route 21, if you don't know, for those who have teenagers, you know, um, or uh, grandchildren, kids, whatever. Uh, Route 21 is going out of business and so when she heard that she was like I gotta go I gotta you know so I took her shopping so we went to the outlet mall Friday baby she shopped do you hear me oh my goodness she got shirts for $5.99 pants for $9.99 then she got a couple shirts for like $13 and I think one pair of pants was like $20 some dollars and I think a sweatshirt was $20 some dollars but she did really good she spent $100 um but then she went shopping with her dad. So yesterday we went to dinner and I said, we just going to go Dutch. You get what you get. I'm going to get what I get. And, you know, we just break bread together. So she was fine with that. And then she goes, um, she kept looking at a receipt. She was like, um, mom. And I said, yeah. She said, can you check my account? And I was like, sure. So when I opened up, I said, well, I'll check it when we get in the car. I didn't want to do it in the restaurant. So when I opened up the account. I see how low her balance is. I said, wait a minute now. Because I'm thinking to myself, I don't keep like a full tab on her account. You know, but I I do kind of monitor her spending because, you know, teenagers, they'll just spend whatever and not think twice. But I'm like, no, girlfriend, you need to, you know. But she, so she, since I do that, she was thinking about her account and how much she had. Because she was trying to calculate it herself. Child, I want to go. I saw her balance first. And I'm like, wait a minute. So then, I, you know, because I was trying to, what did she spend this money on? Because she had significant. And I said, you went to Caribou? Because I looked at the price. And she said, yeah. And then I thought about it and I was like, dang it. So I found out about my, my gift. Hold on one second. Okay. So anyway, so I realized when I said that, I was like, dang it. I don't find out what my gift is. So my baby, knowing that her mama loved her some caribou, bought me um, a caribou gift card. <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness. And I mean, in the amount that she spent, I was like, girl, I'm beginning coffee for days. So I appreciate that. Um, you know, because they didn't have to. I mean, she didn't have to. Baby girl and little man didn't have to. But I appreciate the love and the the honor. I just got off the phone with baby girl. Um, yeah. Oh, I miss my babies. I miss my babies. Oh, I miss my babies. Lord, I miss my babies. So, they miss me too. It was so funny because she's talking to me and little man, I just love him. Let me just say this. I love having garbage cans in my, in my car. Honey, that's the best thing since sliced bread. Keeping my car clean. Even though I got stuff in the back seat, still keeping my car clean. So, anyway. Um, I'm going to get caught by the train because of the way I'm going out today. But it's okay. Because they're doing construction everywhere. So, yeah, it's just... But, oh, well, it's 1035 now, so we shall see. But anyway... Um, so yeah, and then my mom was the first one to wish me a happy Mother's Day this morning. I was woke. I just, I just didn't send, send out a happy Mother's Day, you know, whatever. So anyway, um, oh, that's, I didn't realize they had a marquee. This school right here is where my nieces used to go when they lived here, when they were in elementary school. They used to go to that school right there. I've only been up in there once or twice, but... Um, but yeah, I'm on my way to church. And baby, let me tell you something. So the dress that was going... To, well, okay, first of all, this was my intended dress. But when I pulled it out, I looked at it. Then I pulled out the other one, which is it's a swing dress. And I looked at it. And I said, hmm, okay. And I was like, well... Let me think now. I do believe I have. Because one, one is made like this. And it's got the little strappy things down here underneath the breast. The other one is like like a patch, like 
how to hear black here or how to black, how to black, something like that. Then the other one is black through the middle, how to on the sides, but that's the swing dress. So I put up the swing dress. I said, well, the swing dress seemed like it'd be a little more, you know, befitting. Because this one is more A line. Okay? Baby, I said, oh, I need me a whole body slimmer. Because when I first put it on, I was like, um, but I got my body slimmer on, baby. I feel good. Do you hear me? While I'm up here talking, I need to be drinking. Mm. But I'm going to my own home. I look good. While I was on the phone, baby girl, I was juicing up my hair. Did my little regimen. I think what I want to do tonight, I think I want to um, throw some conditioner on it, detangle, detangle it, and um, I know I heard some. I don't see anything behind me. I don't see anything ahead of me. But I want to um, condition it, throw some detangler on it, and wash it really, really, really good. Give it a good scrub down, and then put everything, you know. I'll probably twist it down to sleep, and then untwist it in the morning. Because I'm probably going to stretch it a little bit. So, yeah, so that's what I plan to do, I think, with my hair. Is give it a good scrub down. Because it hasn't been washed since... One last one. I washed it... Mm, the morning of GMA. Yeah, so. And the only reason why I'm washing is because I like to, I don't like to have product build up. I don't like my hair to fit. I mean, it feels soft. Like, when I touch it, it's soft. You know, but I don't like product build up. So. <sighs> so, yeah, I'm excited for just going to church and seeing everybody and I text with oh my gosh so many family and friends and it was funny because um she's like my adoptive sister um she's same age as my big sister they met with my big sister matter of fact the summer before senior year before their senior year they met at a overnight thing it was like a summer program that my big sister went to up in Morris, Minnesota, and that's where she met um, met my other sister. And so she, when I texted her this morning, wish her happy Mother's Day, she was like, I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna be there this week for two days. I was like, uh huh. <laughs> Cause you know, I'm not used to people just popping in. So I was like, what, what you say now? Cause she was just here um, back in the summer. And I was like, what you say now? And so she said she's gonna be here and, you know, only thing on my mind for this week is prom. Like, for real, for real. So, when she said that, I said, by chance, when are you going to be here? She said, Thursday or Friday. I said, oh, Lord. I said, well, she said, I'm going to try to see you. I said, well, I said, Friday, I'm going to be booked to capacity. I, you know, I would love to see you and give you that good hug. But she my New Orleans sister. Um, I said, but she doesn't live in New Orleans no more. They they evacuated at the like the very last millisecond before the shutdown in New Orleans before Katrina hit. So she's born and bred in New Orleans, but they live in Texas now. But anyway, so she, I told, I said, it's Miss Peanuts prom, and we're gonna be doing all the things. I said I'm working half day, and then you know, I have a nail appointment that day, but. <laughs> I'm contemplating on canceling. I mean, I need a feel. Like, I do need a feel. But I'm thinking I might just wait. You know, let me just, let me get through prom. You know. Um, and I, I kind of just want Miss Peanut to rest as much as possible. I don't want her to be overly anxious. Because I don't want, I don't want the energy to be off. If that makes sense. Excuse me. Ooh, I got this big old pop. And, ooh. Every time I come. I almost run the stop sign every single I'm not even kidding. Mm -mm -mm. I see my cousin not here yet. So. But uh, 
I think today I'm going to park over here because last week there was some stuff going on. Oh, shoot. <laughs> there was some stuff going on and I'm like, uh, yeah, I don't want them by my car. So they had like a game or something. But anyway, so one of my members, I don't want to get out and walk with him. <sighs> Lord Jesus, let me drink my Coke. I don't think he knows that I'm married. And I'm just like, I don't want to hurt your feelings. But I'm not interested. Point blank in the period. Oh, no. Y'all. Oh, no. I switched purses, right? Why has this got baby girl's name on it? what that's about anyway i switched purses and um my boss lady thing is not in there shoot so for me to take my notes and stuff oh praise god for a ram in the bush i got this one it says may you be proud of the work may you be proud of the work you do the person you are and the difference you make no notebook. This is I was given this. I'm trying to think. This was at my the appreciation dinner. Oh, I didn't show you guys this. So let me show y'all this. I got a little well, I got about 15 minutes, 16 minutes. So when it was administrative, perfect professional administrative, uh let me close this. Because I'll forget. Administrative professional some something something day. Um, oh, this is the tag. I had got some bath and body stuff. It was the luminous scent. So the gold and burgundy. I haven't worn it yet. I've, I have used the body wash. I have not worn the body spray. Because every time I smell the body spray, the body spray seems strong. But the body wash wasn't as strong. Anyway, so they had gave us a whole bag. It was full of chocolates. All the chocolates are gone. And then they gave me a mug that says, do not disturb. And it's full of um, Starburst. So I got that from the math department. Uh, or no, I got that from... Mm, I don't remember where that came from. The bath and body was from the math department. That was from mm -mm, another department. And then I got flowers from the admins for my boss. And this bag, the blue bag, this was from the appreciation dinner. And the candy is gone. We got a water bottle with our school name and, and our mascot on it, Polars. Um, we got a little thank you, thank you bag. And when we open it up, it has a keychain in it. Um, the keychain says, thank you. Never forget the difference you've made. So that's what that looks like. And it came as a little cute little bag. And then we got a pen with our school name on it and polar bear. Because we're all about that. I believe this one's mine. Yeah, because hers is pink got a mug and it says may you may you be proud of the work you do the person you are and the difference you make same as the notebook so it looks like this and then we also got a pen and the pen says the same um inscription so i'll take that and put that in my purse and then um, we also got some like little, they had some blue organza bags with candy, like mints and mints and chocolate and I don't know, maybe star, Starburst in there too. I can't remember. We got, oh, we, we did get some Starburst. I do remember that. So yeah, and I just, we've had all this stuff in the car and I just haven't had a chance to bring it in, which I need to because the other, oh, I can show you because Miss Peanuts is back here. So we also got, um, and this is up in my my office. So I don't know if you're able to see it, but it says Polar Nation. They're stickers, and so mine are um, 
if you looked at the video where I had the yellow, the bumblebee stuff, then you saw, you might have saw that up on my partition. This was the starburst we were given. It says, thanks for going above and beyond. Looks like that. And it says, we're bursting with appreciation for all you do. So that was in there. And then, like I said, Miss Peanuts is pink. Same notebook. Everything else. Everything else is all the same. Excuse me. I'm actually going to see if she'll let me keep this. Um, we also give out uh, for the... For the... Um, Honor Roll students, they also get bumper stickers. And so it says, you know, like, my polar is a, is a honor student or something. I can't remember what it says. Something like that. But, um, so yeah. Dang, I can't believe I left. Because I'm faithful. This is the first Sunday that I haven't brought my thing. I just want to make sure the pen right. But, um, because, you know, somebody always asking, do you got a pen? And I just realized I have no cash for um, offering. That's all right. I will double it up next week. But anyway. Oh, I better go, child. I better go. Mm. Oh, just people walking. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Let me go. And I will see y'all after church. Hey, everybody. I'm back. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Woo. So y'all know it's taking me forever to wear, um, you know, pumps, heels, whatever, right? <laughs> Dress shoes. Chow. Hold it, though. <laughs> Oh, baby, let me tell you. Oh, oh my gosh, I got to see more of my family today. It was so nice. But let me tell you, these daggone shoes, not that they hurt my feet, but girl, the back is backing. The back is backing, okay? Woo! So we did pictures at church. They decorated for us to take pictures at church. I really want to go see my mama. I really want to go see my mama real quick. I just want to go see. I'm going to drive down there and see if she down at the uh, church so I can see her real quick. But, baby, we did pictures. I'm putting my pictures in because, yes, my cousin, my little cousin, she would be my, let's see. Cousin First Lady is my first cousin, so her daughter will be my second cousin. Y'all, when I tell you, how about, I, I, I might put the sermon in. I don't know. Then again, oh, I don't think he did it during the sermon. Anyway cousin pastor was like <laughs> cousin pastor was like he said I'm so excited to see you know the visitors this morning welcome visitors he said even my, my daughter is here he said oh he got to looking around and I didn't know about my other cousins which would be my let's see if my sideline is my second then her girls are my third and then their girls is my child. When I tell you, he was like, he said, oh, I got family in the house. He said, I got a whole choir for y'all. I said, oh, no. I thought he was going to call us up front for real, for real. Oh, wait. It was just, it was emotional, 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 emotional. These shoes, baby. Let me, first of all, back to the shoes. They're not hurting my feet. Like, by no means, they're the perfect size. Even with all my little swelling and all that. I mean, a girl is, you know. Butter, um, oh Jesus, butter, um, when I tell you my back, cause see, I've been dealing with this back, what, cause when I got injured Thursday, oh Lord, baby, I was like, help me Holy Ghost, help, help, help me Holy Ghost, cause I would, cause you know, we have to stand up out of reverence to the scripture to the word we stand up during scripture time baby and it was like two three four time listen that up and down for me it was it was none too good i was like oh but i don't want to be disrespectful and then i had somebody that came how you doing you know people 
hug you, side hug. How you doing? I was like, oh Jesus, please don't touch me. Oh Lord. But you know, I made it through. Thank you, God. I made it through. But baby, I was not prepared for today. I was not. And think about it till after they started hugging me, and I was like, oh my God, don't touch me. Oh Jesus. Am I going to be able to turn? No. Oh, Lord. Y'all not right for that. I got to turn right here. Anyway. So, um, <laughs> so anyway, church was good. Um, they did a, uh, presentation. They had bought a white rose and they took the white rose and they took the petals off of it. So, the petals were given to those whose mothers who have passed on or who have lost a child. Um, so I thought that was pretty deep. And my cousin first lady, her mom has passed. She passed. It's only been a year. Yeah, it's only been a year since Aunt V passed. So, you know, she still like, um, she didn't come to church when it was her birthday because that was a hard day for her. Um, you know, and then like today was hard, and she, I was sitting right next to her, and I mean, she just got to breaking down, I was just like, I felt so bad, you know, I'm thinking about my nanny, you know, but I still have my mother, so, you know, whew, look, I have not sat in that seat, who Jesus, okay, so, for those who have lost their mothers, my heart, because like, I've been around, like, well, my husband, for instance, you know, his mom has been passed since 09. But my husband, there's a lot of, oh, maybe they're going to put flowers on graves. I'm like, is there a lot of funerals today? Speaking of cousins, speaking of cousins, chat, when I tell you, listen, family, we, this is the cemetery that my mother in laws buried at, but right here, I had two different groups of cousins out there at the cemetery right now given homage to um their either mother grandmother or auntie what yeah mm -hmm. anyway um and so my cousin first lady her mom has been passed only a little over a year my sideline cousin the one that we grew up together um her mom passed a year after my nanny so she, her mom passed the day i got engaged so her mom has been gone. We've been married 19 years. So her mom's been gone 19 years. And my nanny's been gone 20 years. Good Lord. Because she passed. My nanny passed on January the 11th, 2004. And my sideline cousin mom passed January 10th, 2005. Mm hmm Yeah. Deep, ain't it? And just reverence that particular cousin who passed because she's my first cousin her birthday is a day a part of my grandmother's birthday so many years you know whatever yeah because mm -hmm. my nanny's birthday is the 18th of june and my cousin maxine's birthday is the 17th of june deep huh anyway so so she was breaking down and so like when her mom passed her grandmother was still like you know her grandma had always been a part of her life you know but you know she really kind of held on to her grandma because her mom was gone and now her grandma's passed and so anyway so they they both was breaking down and i was just like lord have mercy just who win but um my side like because she still has to join church yet she said i'm i'm waiting on the lord i'm like girl but cousin cousin first lady and pastor cousin cousin pastor their daughter joined church today and then my other cousin who been at church with me like every sunday i can't try to figure out who the reference of where she was in the line she is my sideline cousin my sideline cousin her brother's first daughter i was like that's his child i did not all these years did not know okay so anyway um and she's beautiful beautiful girl tall beautiful just beautiful so anyway and i said i've been at church ever since december and never knew it i think 
cousin first lady told me but anyway and so it was just nice to you know kind of put two and two together because i was like what the world because her other brother all his girls are younger i didn't realize her baby brother's daughter was that old so but um anyway it was just nice to be able to be i mean we were like all oh, just it gonna be <laughs> changing over to our church for soon i mean you know what i mean So, he begging. I'm, I don't, look, Mother's Day or not, okay. I guess our pastor emeritus he had said something about a lot of people being dressed in black. You know, almost like we going to a funeral. I'm like, baby, I like my black and white, honey. Shoot. He said, this is Miss Moneybags right here. He said that every Sunday. It actually offends me. I try not to be disrespectful. But I'm like, dude, you don't know my story. Just because I, you know. But I'm going to let it be. But I'm just like, don't say that. He even said that to my, my daughter. And I'm like, you don't even know my chats, dude. But whatever. It was still a blessed Sunday. Um, I'm actually like, I'm zooming not zooming, but trying to get over to mama. I don't know if they still at the church or not. So, I'ma see. Ooh, wait, this is the way to their old house. I'm actually about to be on their block, but I'm not gonna go to their house. It seems so weird not driving over there. You know what I mean? It's hard for me. So, I don't like coming this way because you know, I would like to be able to go to their house. I mean, I like to be able to pull up and use my key and walk in the door, and I can't do that no more. And I don't know. Some days I get a little, you know. So, but I know it was best for them. It definitely was best for them. I cannot see worth a daggone. Lord help. Um. But yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna run over here and see if I can see Mama real quick. Cause I don't even know what she got on today. I sent I did send her the picture already. Y'all gonna see the picture in the video. But I did send her the picture already. Y'all, when I tell you it's 88 degrees outside, like hot. And my silly self should have went with my first mind and not my second mind. Cause my first mind said barbecue. My second mind said fried chicken. I don't wanna do either one. Oh, they look so pretty. This our um this church that just passed that's uh it's owned by i don't know what tribe or whatever but one of our african brothers and sisters churches and every sunday they're so pretty okay see this church already don't let out mama and them might be already gone snap mm. yeah this church here this the one that i go to for the food shelf they already don't let out so mama's church it's after one. It's almost one thirty. Whoop whoop, polars. Sorry, it's my football field in the track. <laughs> football field in the track. You can see the bleachers. Yep yep. I do not go to track meets. I do not go to lacrosse games. I do not go to football games. I do go up there when I need to for other stuff. That's about it. Okay, we're going to see if they're still over here. Mama and them might be gone. And I don't know if she have access to her phone. If she's there, I don't know if she have access to her phone. And I really don't want to go inside her church. Because y'all know I got my own feelings about that. So. Oh. Yeah, my cousin. My cousin, um, Leah, she did good on my pictures. I said, well, you did. Because one of my other cousins going to do it. Tell my uh-huh, you do it better. You a professional. Whatever. I'm like, I don't care. Somebody take a picture of me because I'm cute. Because <laughs> I'm cute. Okay. And yeah, I had my purse in the picture show, did. Okay, let me see if I can see mama. True. Oh, no. They gone. Dang it. Let me just pull over. I think they gone. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to end it here. But happy Mother's Day to everybody. Let me call my mama. Love y'all. Bye.